Hi there. It's March 28th, and in our journey through the Torah, we've come today to Deuteronomy chapters 9 and 10. In chapter 9, Moses is telling the, uh, the younger generation, the next generation who are going to actually enter the land, he's telling them not to get above themselves or think it's because of their righteousness that they are going into the land or that God has somehow favoured them because they're better than other people. No, God says it's actually the evil of the people in the land that God is going to be judging and it's not about Israel's being better than anyone else. In fact, Moses says, if I tell you the story, when I was at the mount on the mountain, and receiving the words from God, you were actually disobeying and you were rebelling against God by making the golden calf. And at the end of chapter 9, Moses has to intercede for the people of Israel because God is about to destroy them because of their disobedience. At the beginning of chapter 10, we read that Moses went back up the mountain and he received again the commandments, the words from God. And actually he has, the, the Deuteronomy writer has Moses putting these into a box, into an ark, it's called, and carrying them down the mountainside uh, to give to the people. Um, it's very important that we recognise that God is after something in people's hearts. It's not their obedience as such, it's not their righteousness he's after, he's after their love and he's after their commitment. And so uh, in verse 12 of chapter 10, it says, what, do, what is it that God is requiring of you, Israel? What is it he wants of you? Well, actually what he wants is for your love. He wants your commitment to him. He wants you to be just all out for him and for no other gods to enter into the picture. In fact, in verse 16, he makes a very interesting reference, which is something we carried into our uh, our Christian understanding, he talks about the circumcision of the heart in Deuteronomy 10, 16. There's this reference, circumcise the foreskin of your heart. It's not about physical circumcision. It's not about physical signs. It's about the heart. It's about what controls us, what is most important to us. And making that open and vulnerable, taking off the cover that keeps us apart from God. And this is what he's appealing to Israel for. He's appealing to them to uh, take the cover off their hearts and to be wholeheartedly for God. God. At the end of chapter 10, there's also an encouragement to be kind to the stranger and to love justice. There's, there's words about justice and loving the stranger because, after all, they were strangers. They know what it feels like because they were in the land of Israel. So God calls us today to have a clear, open heart, to take the cover off our heart, to be vulnerable to him, to be open as a sign of this covenant that we are part of. Have a very good March 28th.